This morning we are at a St. Louis institution. I see that. It's the Magic House. And I'm here with a very special guest star, Miss Lady June Smith. Say Yay! Hi. We're going to go to the Magic House with our kid. Let's have fun. So an insider's tip, if you buy a membership to the Magic House, you have a toddler, you get to come in an hour earlier than everybody else. So it's worth the, how much is the membership? 40 bucks. You can get in early with your little one to avoid the stampede that will come. Mr. Carnes is in the bank. Hi, how can I help you today? Wouldn't use the bank, personal banking since 1874, member FDIC. This bank is made possible by a gift from a very bad bank. So those of you who don't know this, this is Carnes has a uh, Which one you want to fixation the one with, with the house smashed on it? pennies. Okay. Put the house she actually has an app on her phone that's a smashed penny machine app finder. So you have to make sure that the house will get on that arrow. Okay. Almost there. Now we're gonna put these in the thing. Which one you want to smash? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, are you glad you came to the kids' museum today? Yeah. Got yourself a pretty penny. I got my penny. Good afternoon and welcome to Germany. Maybe not Germany, but we have been to this castle, haven't we, Mrs. Carr? Yeah. Two years ago, we were at uh, Schweinau. This is Schweinau, right? Yep. I hear that train a coming. It's rolling round the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. When? <laughs> something about the Folsom Prison Blues or something after that. So, uh -huh. little Johnny Cash. Okay. Lainey's trying the orange milk. We think, Lainey. Do you like it? Mm. No? So we just came out of Strange Donuts, which is a quirky little hole-in-the-wall donut place here in downtown Kirkwood. Uh, downtown Kirkwood is a walkable little area. Um, in my time, they would have called it a yuppie area. I don't know what they call it now. But uh, 
it's uh, these donuts are a little different, and we we're gonna join in. And we've got a very hungry little uh, donut eater here. Yep. So we'll we'll let you know how they go. Blue sprinkle. Oh boy. Blue sprinkle. Did they not give us any napkins? No, I got wipes. Look at that. So here's what we got. Laney got the blueberry. Berry, she got the strange donut. Strange the, donut of the day, the blueberry bomb. Was it good? Laney, is it good? Blue sprinkle. And in here we've got. Wait a minute. Oh. Is it good? Is it good? I don't think she likes it. Gooey, okay. gooey donuts, butter cake donuts. This is a cream cheese strawberry jam filled, maple bacon, and a cinnamon roll. Something for everyone. Pick this uh, cream cheese strawberry jam when it's it weighs about I don't know two kilo. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not in the Europe. Uh, about half a pound. <laughs> about a half a pound. So I like cream cheese ice. That's why I picked this. is a lot of goodness. Um, very sweet, very doughy. The donut has a little bit of jam in it. I, I just touched the jam pocket. I didn't quite get to it. I got a hint of the strawberry though, so cream cheese and strawberry go very well. I, I like this one. We're off to a good start. Number two is the cinnamon roll, which looks like a traditional cinnamon roll with a little bit of love on top. Uh, I do like a good icing and uh, that one has got a good one. It's very good. It's not the most cinnamony cinnamon roll I've ever had. But the the inside is so fluffy. Uh, outside is a little crisp. And the icing is great. So it actually, there may be more cinnamon in there than I have hit in that first bite. But it tastes like a pretty good uh, cake donut actually which is not a bad thing in and of itself. Look at the camera and tell her what it tastes like. We taste like Swicko. Tastes like Swickle. Okay. What else does it taste like? Pickles. Pickles? Pickles? What? That is a strange donut. I got the ooey gooey butter cake donut, which the ooey gooey butter cake is a St. Louis made product, and this is the donut version of that, so that's why I picked it. I'm gonna try it. You like it? Mmm, I really like it. It tastes like an ooey gooey butter cake. Do you want a bite? No? Okay. You do? Okay. Does it taste like an ooey gooey butter cake? It does. You like it, Lainey? It's delicious. You gotta try hers. So the only two beverage options other than yeah. coffee that was probably brewed a few hours ago was uh, these two milk options. This is just 2% milk. It's from Rolling Lawns Farm in Greenville. It's evidently a Holstein farm that they've been keeping going for years over there. But they also have this orange cream milk, which I've never seen before. I'm hoping it tastes like a dreamsicle. It kind of does taste like a dreamsicle. Now, where was this when I was in grade school and wanted to drink something other than white milk? All right, which one did you get? Well, looks like Lainey picked me maple bacon. Maple bacon. My favorite. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Slightly crunchy and crisp on the outside. Sweet. The glaze is soft and gooey. Salt from the bacon. Perfect. Top Golf is an international sports entertainment company that provides a fun golf experience for people of all golf abilities. 
They have over 70 golf centers open in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Germany, Mexico, and Dubai. Each venue features climate-controlled hitting bays that allow year-round play. You must reserve your place online a few days prior to playing as they fill up very quickly. Topgolf uses a microchip golf ball to hit giant targets at various distances from the elevated deck. The farthest targets are worth more points, and you can get additional points by hitting as close to the center as possible. Targets range in distance from 25 yards to the longest at 200 yards. You can achieve the single highest point score by hitting your ball through the end of the outfield directly out the middle of the field. The fun and games doesn't stop there. You can order food and drinks, adult beverages are certainly available, and TVs are spread throughout each hitting bay to give things the feel of an outdoor sports bar. Our little group included two former college athletes, a former Missouri State Teacher of the Year, and a grizzled 20-year proud member of the Cape Girardeau Country Club. Truly a group of diverse athletic experiences. How would the sporting gods decide a winner? Let's find out who won. Well, as you, you can see from that uh, score, the older generation has vanquished the younger generation today. So, here's cheers to um, old people everywhere. Now, are we done with the pictures? Because I'm the winner and uh, it's off call today, and I think there's a trophy. Uh, trophies are down here, I believe. So. So we are about to have dinner tonight at one of our favorite restaurants. We're in St. Louis off Olive and Chesterfield at Paul Lano's Cafe. And to call it a cafe is really an understatement. It is the, one of the, the things I read about Paul Lano's. It says that it's effortlessly elegant. And I would agree, this is a really, really good restaurant. They've probably been here for 25 or 30 years. It is authentic, the ambiance is amazing, and it's really not the kind of place that you, you film inside. So we may not have a lot of film from this, but go online, read the reviews, check it out. Paul Mano's is one of our favorite restaurants, and we're fortunate enough to be able to eat here tonight.
subscribe and smash that like button. Hi. So, binge on. Bye.